Hello everyone and welcome to FC Bytes. We are going to discuss today's news, including a preview on Super Cup final, Messi's status, updates in the transfer market, and more. So let's start. Tomorrow Barcelona is playing in the Spanish Super Cup final against Athletic de Bilbao. The game will be at 3 p.m. Eastern time or 12 p.m. Pacifica time in La Cartuja, in Sevilla. This will be the first time Barcelona is in a final since 2019 when the team lost in the Spanish Cup final against Valencia, then trained by Marcelino, who is currently coaching Athletic de Bilbao. Spanish Super Cup used to be a trophy played between only two teams, the previous season's winners of the league and the cup, and it used to be played at the end of summer. For that reason, Super Cup was a low-priority trophy, where big teams would take it very easy as part of their summer preparation. This changed last season, when president of the Spanish Football Federation, Mr. Luis Rubiales, changed the format, becoming a four-team tournament between the champions and the runner-ups of the league and the cup. Because it's now play in the middle of the season, teams are in much better form and the trophy has regained some reputation. For Barcelona, this might be a crucial competition. After a very bad season start, Koeman seems to have found a winning strategy and a starting squad. If Barcelona wins against Bilbao, it would be the fourth victory in a row. That didn't happen since 2019. To some extent, this reminds me of January 2015, when then the team trained by Luis Enrique had a very regular first half of the season, and after a loss against Real Sociedad on January 4th, Messi and Luis Enrique were forced to sit down and talk and decrease the tension between the players and the manager team that had been escalating. That was an inflection point in both team playing and morale, and at the end of the season, Barcelona would win the league, the Champions League and the Cup. I'm not saying we are in the same situation here, since the 2015 team was way more talented and better balanced, but a victory in the Super Cup final would definitely boost the team's morale and would help to face the coming La Liga games and the Champions League round against PSG with renewed energy. There are updates on Leo's condition. So today Messi participated in the training at the same intensity that the rest of the teammates. Kuman was a little bit cautious after the training, saying that he's not 100% sure that Messi will be able to play tomorrow. However, the fact that Messi was training at such intensity kind of confirms. To me, it seems that Kuman is trying to play some sort of mind trick in the sense that he wants to make sure that Bilbao doesn't know what to expect. In the same press conference, Kuman also addressed possible moves in this January transfer market. He confirmed that they are very interested in Eric Garcia, which as we discussed the last couple of days, he already signed with Barcelona and now it's just a matter of time on whether he will be joining this January or next summer. He confirmed that he would like to have the player right now. However, he also acknowledged that the candidates have pushed that idea away, saying that they would prefer to get Garcia for free in the summer rather than paying now. Kuman also confirmed yesterday news that Neto has asked to be released to join Arsenal. He and the, team and the manager team, however, reject the request of the goalkeeper, since they consider that having a great replacement for Ter Stegen is very important for the future of the team. Since Ter Stegen became one of the top three goalkeepers of the world and kind of undisputable as a starting goalkeeper for Barcelona, Barca has had strong issues trying to find a replacement, a replacement for him. Finding a solid goalkeeper that will be willing to sit for most of the season is very hard, and for the last years we have seen Claudio Bravo, Nassib, Silesen and Neto coming and leaving. Goalkeeper seems to come to Barcelona with the intent to contest Ter Stegen for the starting position, however after one of two seasons they give up and they leave. I would expect that Neto will leave Barcelona this summer, since they can get some cash as a transfer fee, and also I would expect that they will replace him with Iñaki Peña, who currently is playing for the Barcelona youth team. Another player from the youth team that might be called up to Barcelona main squad, at least on the special occasions, is Reich Mana. The Albanian was bought from Albacete for 700k a year ago. After several irregular months, the striker seems to be in great form, scoring a lot of goals, such as in the last game against Badalona, where he was the subject of a penalty that then he scored. Reich Mana is international for Albania, and he has already been called up to the main team once. Partially because of Reich Mana's great form, Barcelona youth team is turning things around. After beginning the season badly, scoring only one goal in the first four games, they have won the last four out of five games, being second on the table. So that was all for today. 
Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and subscribe. If you have any comment, please write it down below and see you tomorrow when we will do the preview of the Spanish Super Cup final and we will then discuss the results. Thank you and until the next time.